PowerPoint, Module 1, Textbook Project 1.1. Go ahead and open that file. Start. You have your reading information, the start file, and you will need your support file, which is a picture to be saved on your desktop. Go ahead and open up the PowerPoint. It's a blank PowerPoint. So when you're working with PowerPoint, which is a slide presentation, the first thing you need to do is decide on the length of the PowerPoint, also who you will be um, presenting to, your audience, and try to create some type of outline or format that you will follow prior to starting your PowerPoint presentation. And then you can decide while you're doing it, maybe you wanted a certain amount of slides, but you don't want to have too much information on a slide, so you may increase your slides. So you, it's good to have a base uh, of an outline of what you want to work with. And then when you're actually creating your PowerPoint presentation, it'll be a little bit smoother to work with. So when you first go into a blank PowerPoint presentation, everyone gets the same first slide, which is a title slide. And just to give you an example of what the different styles of the layouts that appear, if you click the Layout tab, this is the very first one, and it all starts with the title slide. The next slide, when you were to create a new slide, it would be a title and content. And then if you decide to have different types of layouts, you would choose from here. So on the top, if you just notice that the, the tab color is orange for PowerPoint, and it has the auto save on off, the save button, undo, redo. This is a new button with PowerPoint. It starts a PowerPoint presentation from the very beginning, the first slide. And over on the far, far right, you have your ribbon display options, minimize, maximize, and close. And of course, you have your ribbon. And the default, just like all the other software applications, the default is the home tab, which shows objects that are, are commands that are related to the home tab and again if you choose different tabs the ribbon changes focusing on that topic so the default um, place was the home and again the backstage area is the file area on the left hand side is where you'll have your slides and right now there's only one slide if you look down at the bo bottom left it says slide one of one if you had 20 slides it would say one of 20. This is called normal view. So these are little thumbnails. They're little um, diagrams of what your slides are showing. And whatever is the active slide with the orange around it will show up on your full screen. If you wanted to, you could actually make your thumbnails smaller so that are larger so that you can work um, with more space on your active slide. On the bottom right, you have some shortcut commands. We are in what's called normal view, and we'll try the other views later. There's another slideshow to show the, sli the sh presentation from slide one. And we'll talk about notes, and you have your zoom in and zoom out. On your screen, these are called uh, content placeholders, and you click and type. So you just click, you don't have to select or delete it, just click and start typing. So the first one we'll do is the title slide. So just click, and then you start typing. Then we'll click the add subtitle placeholder, content placeholder, and we'll begin to type there. Now, it's only a certain amount of, of space and height. And as you start to type, um, don't look so much on the, the, the figure on 1-7. There's a line missing, so you should be typing from the directions. And I'll explain what happens. Uh, it'll be an extra line, and what will happen is it will go outside of this dividing line and there will be a button that appears here where you could tell it um, to automatically or not fit into this content area placeholder. So let's type. So after Don's name I'm going to have that button appear because I'm in like a danger zone of, of not running out of room so there's that button. When I click enter it's typing outside the box, so I'll go ahead and finish this one. It also changed the size of the font so that it could fit. So if you actually click this autofill options, you could tell it to stop fitting text into the placeholder so it does go outside. So you could actually extend the, the uh, height of this place content placeholder, but we're actually going to delete directors, so don't worry about it. So I'll just double click, delete, 
backspace so it all fits in there. Click anywhere outside of the content placeholders and we're ready for a new slide. When you click new slide, there's two actual buttons. The top button will just give you the new slide, which is the um, title content placeholder, or you could click the new slide and pick the ones you want, but this is the one we're going to get. So just click the top one and there you have it. You'll click in that placeholder and type. So you've typed your title, you're in the content placeholder, and then you'll press enter and it's starting to continue the bullets, but we want this to be a sub bullet. So just press tab and then you'll continue typing. And if you notice, the first one is in font size 28. The sub bullet is a little bit smaller and then reduction is back to 28. Now when you did press enter after 2009, you're staying in the sub bulleted area and then you would click this button here which is called de decrease level and it brings it back out to the left hand side. So if I was after employees and I press enter and I wanted to type something here and then enter, I could go further in and increase the, um, if I wanted to go back out, I could use the decrease. So it's either increase or decrease and it goes back. So I'm just going to delete this and we're ready for a new slide, but this time click the down arrow because we're going to select the two content slide layout. And then the title for this one is Immediate Effects. So go ahead and finish the left hand side. We're not typing anything on the right hand side. And when you're finished, you can click outside of the placeholder. Click slide two. Double click between, that selects the whole word, and you have your mini toolbar. And we're gonna change the color of the font to dark red in the standard color, dark red. And then we'll click bold and italic. And then we'll click the slide one th thumbnail. And then we'll select presented by. And the font size will be changed to 28. Then we'll select the title. And we'll look for the font Corbel and it's alphabetical. Underline. And then we'll click the increase font size button. We'll just actually increase it and it should go to 66 and then click outside of it. Make sure slide one has been selected. On the tabs, select design, and from the gallery of themes, click the down arrow. And as you hover over each of the designs, you get a little preview in the background. And we're looking for the slice theme. And there are a lot to choose from. In the themes gallery, click the down arrow to see more and hover over until you see slice and then cl click the slice theme and it changes every slide theme and you should have design ideas that pop over on the right and then we'll go back in to design. So on slide one, we just chose the slice theme. We'll go back to more and if we look for mesh theme, if you right click and choose apply to selected slide, it only puts it on the first slide. So I'm going to go back to mesh and choose apply to all slides. So you could do it just for one slide or all the slides. So we went from the slice theme to the mesh theme, but we first right click and apply just to the selected cell. So it's just to one. And then we'll go back into the mesh 
and choose apply to all slides. So we have it in the mesh design theme. On the bottom right where the scroll bar is, you have the double arrows and it'll show you the next slide and the next slide and then you can go previous. To close the design ideas window pane, just click the X to close out. So right now we're in normal view. Click view and choose sorter, slide sorter. And this is their number, so you could probably move these around a lot quicker. It's easier to adjust them if, to make sure they're, they're in the correct order for your presentation. So double click the slide one, and it takes you right back to the thumbnail. At the bottom of the stats bar, go ahead and choose notes. And what happens is it, it sh shrinks the picture just a little bit, and there's an area on the bottom where you would add notes. Then at the bottom on the status bar, select show slideshow. And then if you notice, if you hover, you don't see them when you're away from it, but if you hover on the left hand corner, you'll have some more features. And what you would like to select is show presenter view. So if you click the three dots, you'll have show presenter view. And this is how you would see it on your lead computer where your audience would only see this main slide. You would see the next slide that comes up and any notes that you typed regarding this first slide you could have over here typed and you could look at your screen and see, refer to your notes if you need to and you already know what the upcoming slide is. So this is slide, um, this is in presenter view. Only you would see this. So this is slide two. This is the upcoming, the next slide, and any notes that you may have had. So only your, your audience would see this on the screen, on the projection screen. At the top of the screen, this shows how long you've had a certain slide open, and you could pause it if you wanted to, but you could. this is how long the audience is viewing this slide. So to go back to normal view click the three dots and we'll actually hide from presenter view and then escape will take us back to PowerPoint so now we'll slick select slide 2 and click the layout tab and that's on the home tab there's the layout and we're going to change it right now you can tell it's in title and content we're going to change it to two content so it changes the slide to two content and we're going to click the pictures icon on slide two click the pictures icon and go to where you saved your picture that came with this project This is what I want and insert. You can close out of the design ideas. And then with the picture selected, you'll notice that you have your sizing handles. So pointing over the middle sizing handle, make it larger to the left and then let go and if you decide that's too far you can click undo and it puts it back to its original click the top left sizing handle and you want it just under the title and you can choose the top left one which is the corner one and go right above right below between And you can zoom in and zoom out. And then down at the bottom on the other side of the percentage that you're on, you can go back to the original. Save and close and you'll submit this, but there's a part two, so we'll start that now.